Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is an energy of working together, collaborating, putting in effort to get on the same page. Um, this is an energy of wanting to actually fix something. So someone here could be wanting to really work on the connection they share with you, but we're seeing it in the terms of wanting to really work, focus on the foundation to make sure that it's solid, that, you know, you guys can achieve some sort of stability together and, um, work on your partnership here. Um, but this is a very, um, genuine energy. This is a very solid energy. It's an energy of someone who is putting in the time, the effort, the energy. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords in the reverse, and this is Air Energy. We have the Two of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and we have the Strength card, Leo Energy. So with that Strength card and we have the Three of Pentacles, this person wants to work on the bond. This person doesn't want to give up on this connection. There is an energy of wanting to make it more resilient, and the Strength card is also an energy of healing. So there is this desire to heal the connection that they share with you. That with the Seven of Swords being here, this person does want to be more um, more open with you, more upfront, more authentic with you. Um, there is an energy of there's something they need to reveal to you. They need to open up to you about something. They need to confess something to you. And I see them taking this upon themselves. So it's like you're going to be finding out information about this person, but it's coming from them directly because this person is making the choice to take on the responsibility of nurturing and working on this this connection with you. Um, we have that two of pentacles, which does show again an energy of um, trying to find some sort of balance in a, in a situation, trying to find the stability, but also making you a priority. With the strength card being here, it does look like this is a connection that has really seen its fair share of challenges. And this person could even view you as someone who's very difficult to tame, someone who is not easy to control, someone who it requires hard work. That's how they view you. But there's a willingness. It's like, even if it's not easy, this person is up for the challenge. This person, they, they feel like you guys are compatible. This person feels like you guys can make a great team and that you are worth fighting for. You're worth the effort. And, um, with that, um, two of pentacles, there's this energy of, um, you know, wanting to make you part of their schedule. You know, there's an energy of making you part of the priority list, your, your importance to this person. Okay. So let's clarify these cards, um, Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the devil in the reverse, and this is Capricorn energy. So this card in the reverse is quite nice. There's an energy here of someone who wants to take this connection more seriously, and they want to bring back a healthy connection. They want to make it more... Um, you know, there's an energy of wanting to release doubts, the need to be controlling, um, you know, toxic mindsets. This person is wanting to remove those because there's this acknowledgement that that way of doing things wasn't helping the connection. It was hindering it. And so this person wants to work on the connection from a more genuine place. They want to work on building that solid foundation. So there is an energy of wanting to make positive, healthy changes in this connection. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Two of Swords in the reverse, Air Energy. We have the King of Swords 
air energy and we have the ten of swords in the reverse air energy so with with the devil card being there there's also an energy that someone in the situation could um, struggle with addictions or um, bad habits um, substance abuse but there is an energy of releasing something here some sort of uh, codependence energy um, this person is also working on bettering themselves as an individual and i do see this pertaining to some sort of habits or addiction that they have they are um, giving it up they are working on not being so reliant on something that is toxic for them and as a result makes them toxic to the connection so this person not only are they trying to work on the connection they're trying to work on themselves as well um you do challenge this person to want to be a better version of themselves there's this energy where this person actually in some ways they look up to you they, they see you as someone who's quite inspiring someone who's strong and someone who you know they want to match your energy this person thinks that you guys can make a great team um and they they, they do feel like they they need to also work on themselves they need to pick up their their parts as well um and with that king of swords there's again that serious energy this person wants to take this connection more seriously um there is an energy of um not allowing things to um get in the way of this connection and this this is things like those codependent behaviors or addictions or controlling tendencies um but also a lack of communication so this person doesn't want to lose this connection over things that could easily have been worked on so with the king of swords there's an energy of prioritizing communication this person does want to be more upfront with you they want to be more open more honest more transparent with you as well and also less guarded because we have the two of swords there and it's in the reverse so this person does want you know they want to allow this connection to flourish they want a mutual trust between you and there is an energy of lowering their guard and also allowing themselves to be vulnerable being more um honest about who they are so that they can actually connect with you on a more genuine deeper level so this person i'm seeing someone here who's lowering their defenses and they're, they're surrendering to this connection with the ten of swords being in the reverse there's that energy again of healing and we have the strength card so this person is hopeful that you guys can move on from some sort of an ending or a painful fallout a betrayal um there's an energy here of something here um, with the ten of swords there was some sort of um encounter between you and this person or a situation that led to a lot of pain emotional pain mental pain there's an energy here and it could be um a betrayal or just some sort of painful ending but this person does want to move on from that so this is someone who believes that your guys is uh bond is stronger than that so they feel like this connection can withstand and they don't just want to sweep it under the rug this is someone who genuinely feels like this connection can be saved it can be fixed with effort and they are going to take that first step this is someone who is um you know their intentions are really to make this work okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you sagittarius So the card says prosperity lies ahead new moon in taurus okay so th with this taurus energy i do see this person viewing you in in terms of seeing the value in you they see you as valuable this is someone who also sees you as someone who um, is high quality someone who's prosperous someone who they can also have a prosperous connection with there is this energy of if you guys work together as a unit you guys can really achieve a lot so this connection can be successful um, but this person also sees the connection as valuable because there is this energy that it inspires or motivates them to want to release something that's toxic that's been um, you know an addiction for them in their life or something that they've been um, you know attached to in some way for a long time this connection has kind of revealed some habits to them and it inspires them to want to be better it inspires them to want to do better for themselves and for um for love for this connection there's an energy here of this person wanting to level up because of this connection 
um, but there's also again that energy of them learning to love themselves as well um, and there's also that energy there with the Taurus energy of um, really valuing you I'm seeing them looking at you as someone who is um, you, you came into their life and you've shown them something here that they were previously kind of um, closed off to or they were distracted by that devil energy but now it's like they see it and they can't unsee it so we are seeing someone here who's willing to make necessary changes um, and they are wanting to also partner up with you they want to make this work okay so i'm gonna pull out another card for you um sagittarius So the card says heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other so we had that king of swords energy and we have this there's this energy of this person wants to be more honest with you they want to be more upfront with you and there's also an energy here because you have the strength card and this prosperity lies ahead taurus energy it's this person really appreciates you and they they feel like you deserve more this person wants to give you more they, they may want to um be more generous this can even be giving you some sort of a gift or letting you know how much of a gift you are to them but there is an energy here of someone who's going to be making you feel appreciated and expressing how beautiful you are to them and how much they value and treasure you and how grateful they are for you because there is an energy here of this person really actually holding you in very high regard but they want you to know that they view you in that way um this person they feel like they haven't done enough for you to, to see that there's an energy of they haven't been as expressive as they could be and i do see someone going out of their way to really make you feel like you're treasured you're valuable and um this can be even just treating you in some way taking you on a date or give gifting you something with that taurus energy but this person's going to make you feel valuable okay and we do see it. this person is going to be also expressive with their words there's an energy of conversations coming here someone being more honest with you about their feelings okay so i'm gonna find another card for you um sagittarius So the card says primrose youthful love if i had a single flower for every time i think of you i could walk forever in my garden okay so this person genuinely has so much feelings for you a lot of love for you and they think about you a lot this person they really care about you with this two of pentacles your your number one priority to them this person they think about you and um they have a lot of fun feelings for you and there is a romantic energy here so this person may be more romantic or more um, romantically expressive towards you but there is an energy here of this person wanting to restore love into this connection with you okay so that's what i'm seeing for you sagittarius i hope you have a really really good day sagittarius Bye, Sagittarius.